Looking for me to let's go Take me on this journey home I don't wanna wait no Hey, hey, y'all, it's your good sis, Erica Zane, back again with another amazing All-American video. And in this video, as you can tell by the title, honey, we talking about episode 19, the season three finale, and my predictions. Also, I'm integrating y'all's predictions as well. So, let's get into it. Child, we have made it to the promised land. Well, I ain't even gonna call it the promised land, because we don't even know what these writers got in store for us, honey. We have no idea what we finna walk into, but let me tell you how happy I am to walk into this room of the season finale. Not that I want all Americans to end because I've definitely really enjoyed the work that they put into this season, but I am ready to have the whole season as a whole and to go back and rewatch it in some binge sessions with y'all and just really process all that's happening and do so without those major breaks and just with full context. So I am looking forward to this finale. If you are looking forward to the finale, drop some throwing up the hands emojis in the comment section. Let me know that you are so ready for this finale. All right, if you are new here, if this is the first time that you are coming across an Erica Vane video, an Erica Vane TV video, hi, I'm Erica Vane. I post new all American videos every day, sometimes twice a day, and you should really join the tribe by hitting subscribe. In addition to all American, I'm covering pretty much all of the hottest television that we are seeing on our screens, getting into some film reviews, as well as giving y'all a little bit of entertainment news. Again, more reasons to subscribe and join the tribe. I I am breaking down Gronish, Run the World, Gossip Girl, The Shy, and so much more. And just because we're getting to the end of this season of All American doesn't mean that my All American coverage is going to stop. I actually have some really amazing plans for y'all and some other videos that are already were already in the works but make sense to do after the season is over. So I will be posting All American videos up through October, honestly. Schedule's gonna shift a little bit, but I still will be posting regular All American videos, keeping y'all up to date on what you need to know when they go back into production, talking about specific characters, answering a lot of y'all's questions. So the All American content it's not gonna stop as well we gonna keep this thing going which Drake say it's a rolling not a stopwatch it don't never stop <laughs> anyway as you can tell your good sis e is a card and you should really join so hit that subscribe button okay okay now into the predictions i am going to be going off of the trailer as well as the synopsis which both of them gave us absolutely nothing really gave us pretty much nothing so i'm pulling a lot from my mind my thoughts to the overall season how i felt like they have led us to get to this potential point i actually went back and rewatched the season trailers but remember they were filming as they went along so nothing from the season trailers have not been covered so we didn't miss anything like they literally are pretty much mums the words on the season finale and we've already been getting a ton of conversation around how unexpected the finale is and how we would never guess it so i am really expecting the unexpected and you should too but jumping into the trailer we have a moment where to me it really feels like a farewell coop says i just want to wish you luck you gonna light it up and in the synopsis coop says that her team can't go with her to vegas and i said it up it feels like a farewell when she's telling spencer that she just wanted to wish him luck because she won't be able to attend his game. She's going on tour. She's doing like a week or so tour in Vegas, performing there. And honestly, the way that she said it, and I don't know if I'm just in my little like skeptic bag right now or if I'm just paying way too much attention, but it really feels like a farewell and how she was saying it and how they kind of framed it. It's kind of like, not that she knows it's going to be a farewell, but we know that Mo has set a trap. Andre is going with her to work the merch booth, Eric quotes on that and I feel like is this something that Coop is not going to come back from because it definitely feels like you know those moments where those someone says the last words to you but you don't know that they're going to be the last words that's the feeling I get when I rewatch this trailer and I see Coop saying this to Spencer wishing him luck on this game and then she says you, you know you're going to light it up and he says well I know you're going to light it up too and that just gave me the reference to like you know the shooting in Vegas with Tupac and like all that it just feels very ominous and like like, something is definitely going to go down now I have said this over and over again I don't think anybody is going to die but I do think that somebody could get potentially very very hurt and it's going to be somebody either tied to this mo 
and Coop storyline or tied to the Carrie and Layla storyline. Or both, honestly, y'all. I definitely think someone is going to get hurt from that. I'm praying that Coop doesn't get shot, but I could see it happening. I'm praying that Coop doesn't get kidnapped, but I can see it happening. I can definitely see one of the cliffhangers being that Coop doesn't come back from Vegas. And it really sucks because we just started calling her Coop again. She's no longer Tamia. She's back to being Coop again. And now we about to lose her, at least for a moment. Now, also diving into the synopsis, it says that Layla tries to help a friend. If you haven't already, go and check out my video, Can Layla Get Carrie to Go Home? And that video, I talk specifically about Layla's plan to get Carrie to go to her parents and to get her out of her house and if she can actually pull it off. I actually think that this is going to kind of tie into Coop a little bit more too, because in episode 18, we see that Layla's like, oh, I got my final exams pushed up. So so I can actually go to Vegas with Coop. That's part of the thing that makes Carrie feel uncomfortable and starts the little bickering between Layla and Carrie, which gives Layla the thought of like, oh wait, something's going on here. I think that Layla's actually going to cancel with Coop and not wind up going, which I'm hoping for because if they gonna get Coop cool, but they not gonna get Coop and Layla, like we not gonna be able to do the both of them. You get one or the other, you don't get the both of them. So I think that Layla is going to cancel on Coop and just, you know, say that something's going on with Carrie, that she wants to be able to help her figure out how to get her back home. And that's why in the synopsis, we see that uh, Coop is annoyed that her team won't be able to go with her. Because when I saw that, I was like, well, why is Layla saying that she's going to be able to go now? But then in the synopsis, it says that she's not going. So what's actually happening? But it makes sense because Layla's going to stay behind so that she can try to figure out what's going on with Carrie, try to get Carrie back home and get Carrie up out of her house now when it comes to the specifics around that I think that Layla's gonna initially gonna try to talk to her I don't know if she's gonna try to pull together intervention I don't think that she would do that without the girl's family but she's definitely gonna try to talk to her I'm thinking that she's gonna also tag Liv in to support her maybe she's gonna be honest with Olivia about her recent feelings around Carrie because Liv was honest with her about telling her that you know Carrie sent her away when she came to check on her after Friendsgiving and all that and that that could be a way that they can continue to bond as friends and get back to their BFF situation and if that happens if Layla pegs Olivia to try to come and help her I think that that is where Carrie's plan is going to come into fruition in reference to doing something to Olivia because I do believe that Carrie has a plan she's feeling vindictive she is feeling overprotective of Layla and she's getting more volatile which is how Layla is actually able to pick up on it now because before it was a it was way more subdued she was doing a little terrorist attacks with the like coaster telling Liv you don't live here in the Friendsgiving and making little slide comments and ducking off when she came to the girls night uninvited they in the pantry and she's saying what she gotta say but in front of Layla she's all smiles and this and that but she's getting a little bit sloppier she's getting a little bit more aggressive because she's making smart comments in front of people even when we remember how she interacted with Patience and Coop at you know the Crenshaw Cafe it was very off-putting so I can definitely see you know her escalating you know mentally especially if she realizes that Layla's starting to be on to her then I definitely think she's going to get even more agitated it's going to cause her to act out or follow through with whatever little vindictive plan that she has and unfortunately I do believe that Carrie has Olivia in her sights and is going to take out all of this stuff on Olivia initially I was like she's probably gonna do it to Olivia or Spencer but now I think it's just gonna be Olivia because Spencer got his own thing going on which we're gonna talk about with this big ass fight that happens before this game and I think that all of Spencer's stuff is really going to be centered around this Beverly versus Crenshaw football game. And Olivia's stuff is going to kind of go back and forth between the two with a good amount of it around Layla and Carrie and what's going on there. And speaking about the fight between Crenshaw and Beverly Hills, I was mistaken in my episode 19 preview when I said it happened after the game. So many of y'all corrected me in the comment section, but I agree it does happen before the game. Here's what some of y'all had to say. C. Kelly said, it looks like the fight between Crenshaw and Beverly happens before the game. It looks like the game goes on at night 
and Jordan has bruises on his face then. Yeah, I agree. Even though when I slowed it down, it felt like the guy that was standing next to Spencer in the trailer, Beverly Hills guy that's supposed to be Jordan, it looks like Jordan's standing because it really doesn't look like actual Jordan, but I digress. Gina K said, wait, so it looks like the fight starts before the game. You see Spencer and Chris get off the bus with their regular clothes still on, but with their jerseys. The shot of Spencer's bloody lip, you can see that he still has his regular shirt on under his jersey. So I'm assuming the fight starts sometime after they got off the bus. Yeah. Naya said, I actually think that the actual championship game happens after the whatever street fight between Beverly and Crenshaw. It looks like the fight happens in the day when both of the teams get to the stadium where the championship is going to be before the actual game, which looks like it's going to be at night. I think the fight may happen because the truth possibly comes out about Spencer training Jordan on the sneak tip. I was wondering when that was going to come back around. And since it looks like Jordan might actually play, yeah, it's going to be a problem. It's a theory. Who knows at this point with these writers, the promo and synopsis is mad vague and that's how it has to be. Girl, you are so right. Yeah, I agree. I definitely think that this the fight happens before, possibly when they get off the bus. I'm going to share a couple other comments that add a little bit more to this theory that I also agree with. Ashley Nicole said the fight definitely happens before the game because during the short clip of the game Jordan has bruises on his face. Nyla says guys my theory on the fight I think that it would be Chris versus Jordan. Ash is going to hold Jordan back while Spencer would try and hold Chris back. He'll get hurt in the process. I don't think it would go down between Jordan and Spencer. Chris and Jordan already don't like each other. They're both QBs. I don't know, but that's my theory on that. Yeah, y'all, I totally agree. I think that the fight may spark because of Chris and Jordan. Spencer and, and Jordan have gotten to such a great place. They've been through so much. Spencer has been his best man, his confidant in the beginning of the season. Jordan was so pissed with Spencer, and they worked through that. They really have dropped deeper into their brotherhood, so I really could not see them fighting. And then, yes, after y'all reminded me of like Spencer has been training him this entire time and that potentially could come out it's like yeah Spencer is not about to compromise this opportunity or initiate anything that's going to compromise this opportunity for him or Jordan because he understands the value of it for both of them and he has wanted to face them in the championship so I totally agree it could be something that pops off between Chris and Jordan and then of course the teams jump in and that's how both Spencer and Jordan wind up with you know bruises and all bloody and it's just like y'all could do all of this on the field y'all wasting this energy before the game fighting and carrying on for why for why you get this hit off and then what you still got to be able to figure out how to make touchdowns to play defense if y'all don't get y'all asses on this field <sighs> child i'm definitely still team crenshaw so i think crenshaw is going to win and i'm going to talk about y'all's predictions on who's going to win a little bit later in the video but let's continue on with the overall predictions before i do continue on with the predictions i want to give a shout out to my erica vane tv current members shout out to y'all y'all are some real ones last month we launched erica vane tv memberships for the channel which you could pay for four different levels of deeper access early access custom emojis badges and more perks that are that will be given to you right here on this youtube channel and our current members are smlo beauty rush 22 prophetess octavia williams mrs science tanya sabrina wilson reggie hamer cynthia LaShawn chisholm jasmine anderson ashley michelle mrs domestic engineer and elizabeth lassiter and if i mispronounce anyone's name please let me know in the comment section and i will correct it all of the erica vane tv members be sure to check your members community tab as we have a few posts up right now specifically to you i also need more of you guys' information because we are doing a new members giveaway for merch and other things so for you to be able to be entered into that giveaway i need to get a little bit more information from you so check your members community tab right now for all of that information if you would like to join erica vane tv and support by becoming a member you can click the join button right now on the channel and it'll show you all of the options in reference to levels that you can join at and you can go ahead and sign up just as a little fun fact erica vane tv memberships 
was created to help support us creating additional original content i am actually working on a television show and i would love to be able to bring that to you all and all of the proceeds for the membership is going to go to producing this actual show i'm very very excited about it we are already in the writer's room fleshing out the entire season i have already written the first two episodes and now the team is working on the rest of the episodes i think that y'all are really gonna love this show but we rolled out memberships so that we could be able to support other original content and if you would like to do that as well as getting additional content getting early access to content and more perks then go ahead and join the channel now Okay, so in the synopsis, it says Billy learns what Spencer has been keeping from him. And I think that that really just points to Bolivia. The parents do not know what has been happening with Bolivia or a lot of the, what's going on behind the scenes, i.e. Jordan and Simone got married. They didn't even know. But they haven't known about a lot of the things that were happening and now that Spolivia is official, if you missed it, I did a Spolivia is official now what video? It'll be linked in the cards above, description box down below. But now that they are official, they are going to be public with this relationship. And I think Billy's going to have an issue with it, but I think he's not going to have an issue with it because of Spencer. Like, I don't think he has a problem with Spencer as a man, as a young man, as a potential suitor for his daughter. I think that Billy has a problem with Olivia dating period. And he really wants her to focus on her recovery from her relapse and just stay focused on her sobriety which would make sense right like that's what they tell you know recovering addicts and that's something that Olivia has brought up in the in the most recent episodes which is what was holding her back from actually making the leap and deciding to you know jump into this relationship with Spencer and I think that part of what Billy learns is also more information around what happened in the background I think that when the relationship goes public you know Billy makes these statements and Spencer's like yeah I know her sobriety comes first and then maybe he also overshares some of the other things that were happening to try to back up this point of like he can support Olivia he is there for Olivia he loves Olivia and then child it, once the parents know a lot more of the details that were happening behind the scenes and it'll probably be a H no a hell no nah for them I'm just hoping that this doesn't put too much of a rift between Billy and Spencer's relationship because like I have said in numerous videos, not only are they, you know, coach and player, but Billy definitely gives off father and Spencer's son vibes. And then they also give off really, really good friends. Like, I feel like low-key Spencer is Billy's best friend. Not that it's okay or it makes 100% sense or it's the optimal situation because yes Spencer is a kid and he should still be able to be a kid but I do believe that he is one of Billy's best friends you know except for now that Carter's making his way making his way downtown into Billy's heart let me stop anyway so I'm hoping that this doesn't create some type of strife behind that especially if Billy doubles down and trying to keep them apart every parent everywhere knows you try to keep your teenager from being with somebody they just gonna want to be with them more so let's not go down that route Billy Billy Bean, let's not do it. And where's Laura at in this? I need her to weigh in because she absolutely loves Spencer down and she would definitely come to his defense. Shoot, I wouldn't be surprised if we got a Spolivia sit down with the parents and like, all right, y'all deciding to be in this relationship. This is how it needs to look. It needs to remain healthy, whatever, whatever, whatever. Because that's another thing. A lot, these kids have been in and out of these relationships without any type of mentorship and guidance, which is also why these relationships are failing because they don't know what they're doing and they need help. So I would love to see that actually. I would love to see the, the parents sit down and have a real conversation with Bolivia about how they feel with each other and how the parents can best support their relationship and keep Olivia's sobriety at the forefront. Come on, that would be something to see. Also in the synopsis, it says that Jordan and Ashley get some unexpected news. This could be what y'all were mentioning about it coming out that Jordan was trained by Spencer. And maybe that comes out in the beginning. If Montez finds out, that's 100% news that's, that she's going to bench Jordan because she's going to think that like Spencer knows too much well she already thinks that Spencer knows too much but she's going to think that Spencer literally will know every single thing that Jordan would do in the game because he's the one who has been training him helping him run routes and do all of these different things <sighs> and child it just don't look good now while I'm leaning to the unexpected news being something negative in my preview video I said that maybe Asher's going to get something positive and Jordan's going to get something negative I also am thinking now because we have the beat where you know Jordan and Simone don't get married and he talked about his dream of playing Pac-12 football with JJ and Asher and their little bunk beds or whatever sir 
that ain't the business but okay if that's what you really want i think a positive uh prediction for this could be the unexpected news could be they get invited to try out for like coastal california or something we already know that montez's husband works for coastal california and has met with asher maybe you know because i do believe that crenshaw is going to win y'all but maybe they put up a maybe beverly hills puts up a, a hell of a fight maybe jordan does actually get to play and because of that either coastal california or another school wants to bring them in and talk about potential recruitment but would just have to see them in the off season because that also does happen as well like this might be the end of their regular season but they could still play spring ball they can go on tryouts and maybe they get invited to do a tryout and that's what opens them up to continue the football conversation because at the end of the day y'all this is technically the end of their football season this is it now or never now i want to take a quick second to shout out everybody who joined me on my first rewatches we got through seasons one and half of season two and we had a ball the rewatches are coming back on july 27th y'all we will be jumping into episode nine of season two and then we are going to do two episodes a night until saturday on saturday we're going to start the rewatch for season three and i cannot wait it's going to be absolutely amazing y'all we get on zoom we also pull up teleparty and we watch the show together and teleparty is an amazing app because it allows us to watch at the exact same moment and we also have a chat going and we're all in sync at the same exact time if you would like to re-watch the show with me and the rest of the amazing real one subbies go ahead and click the link in the description box and sign up so that you can get information on that it's completely free y'all it's just us having a really good time and connecting around the show that we love again the rewatches will be coming back all american season three will actually hit netflix on july 27th but we are going to start our rewatches of it on july 31st again link is in the description box make sure you join me so i want to take a second and shout out who y'all are pinning to win state sp donut said hey erica this is my prediction for episode 19 i think crenshaw wins because we never got to see them win a championship and Beverly won the Jamboree in the state championship last time, so I think that it's time Crenshaw will win. A lot of people are saying Beverly will win because of the trailer, plus CW writers knew people would think that Crenshaw will win, so they make it seem like Beverly is going to win in the trailer so that they can play with the All-American fans' minds. And to make them think that Beverly will win, but Crenshaw will, will end up winning. It won't be easy, though. I agree. Esther said... I have a feeling that Beverly is going to win. Coach Montez is such a great coach that she has made the team so much better. And also, it would seem too good to be true that Crenshaw will win, given that Spencer is on their side this year. Hmm, I could see that, but I'm still I'm still riding with Crenshaw. And Naya said, and Crenshaw definitely wins. They better. We didn't go through all this stress and strife and Crenshaw for nothing. Child, this finale, I don't have time for the foolishness, I swear. I agree with you so very much. Oh my God. <laughs> I agree. We ain't do all this for nothing. We ain't, we ain't go so hard, worry about that the school was going to close this and that for nothing. And yes, it y'all could say that, okay, the school is not going to close anymore, so they don't need to win. No, they still need to win. And Crenshaw is definitely going to win. But, you know, shout out to y'all to think that Beverly's going to win. Montez has definitely done an amazing job with this boy. She's been a, an incredible addition to the Beverly crew and just really has helped hone these guys as men as well as players so hats off to her but again i think that billy bean and spencer they're gonna take it they're gonna take it away and if y'all haven't already check out my erica vein tv merch shop on ericavane.com shop you can check out all of my television series inspired merch i have all american themed merch as well shout out to big kev who posted this comment the other day for sushi on friday maybe that should be put on the shirt laugh out loud you know i'm a real one because that was bolivia's first date yeah Yes, you are Big Kev and guess what I am going to put that on a shirt I think that that's a really great shirt idea so you guys will be able to shop that shirt as well as more I'm also coming out with a special limited edition season 3 all American shirt which is going to be a custom design by me I'm very very excited I was able to hop in my artistic bag about it you guys will be able to pre-order that on finale night I will release the promo for the design as well 
as the pre-order link so that you guys can shop that as well again on finale night and yeah look out for the sushi on friday shirt because that is definitely coming to you shout out to you big kev great idea all right and before i finish this video i want to talk about some more of y'all's predictions gregory said i think jordan gets snubbed in the second quarter and almost brings beverly to the win but loses by one td that is so specific i'm going to remember that shout out to you and i wouldn't be surprised if it happens ashley michelle says i'm gonna need crenshaw to win why do i have a feeling they're gonna leave us with so many questions in this finale i agree i think that while we're gonna get a good sum to the season i do think that this is gonna open a can of worms and really set us up for season four and we're gonna walk out of this finale with way more questions than we had going in child i i am nervous i am stress i am all of the things overall and going through the comment section a lot of y'all are predicting that crenshaw win so shout out to you guys be sure to post a comment i do go through and read all the comments i try to reply to every comment and a lot of y'all are talking in the comment section it gets active here on erica vane tv so get active get in, engaged and really you know interact with the tribe it's a really great place to be i love that you know my videos make you all feel really great i love that they are highlights to y'all's day i love when y'all send me messages and tell me that so connect with each other connect with me post a comment and last but not least shout out to the commenter that asked me to make a video about Jayla because they wanted to hear me rant on why I do not want Jayla if y'all want me to make a video about Jordan and Layla and why I don't ship them and why you shouldn't either tell me in the comment section down below now all right and that is my full episode 19 predictions video before I get out of here you guys have a little bit more time to be able to submit your thank you video to the cast we're working on a large video to send to all american cast and crew to thank them for an amazing season three for all they've done all they've given us please be sure to if you want to submit you're going to go down and click the link in the description box down below and send me a video that is one and a half minutes or less that tells your name where you're from what's one thing that you loved about the season this season and saying thank you again if you want to submit and be a part of this larger video be sure to submit that video asap i'm going to be closing down that link soon so that we can start working on the video and get it out to the all-american creatives so submit 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 soon and if you're not following me on social media you can get a lot of other updates and in the moment posts from me if you're following me on your favorite social media site at ericavane.com on twitter i'm posting my feelings responding to tweets retweeting a lot of things i love when you guys share my videos on twitter i will always re repost you if you do that follow me on instagram a lot of you guys slide in my dms ask me questions post comments and i'm always responding to you on there as well as tiktok we are releasing a lot more TikTok content coming soon. I'm really engaging, fun content. And I'm actually jumping into a few of these. So I'm really, really excited about that. Be sure to follow EricaVane.com on any of your favorite social media platforms. And with that said, you've made it to the end of the video. You are a real one. And I want to show you some extra special real love. So put four star emojis in your comments so that I know that you are a real one. And I have to reciprocate this real love. Y'all, we made it. Well, we almost there. And I also wanted to prep you guys and tell you that I am actually going to attempt to go live for 24 hours after the finale so that I am able to talk to all of my subbies from all different time zones all around the world and be able to check in with y'all see how you felt about the the episode give you some new exclusive all-american content so be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss when i go live so that you are a part of that and if you miss any of the things that i was talking about in the video links are all in the description box down below more information is all in the description box down below get into it I love you so very much. If you missed any of my other videos, I have my All About All-American playlist link for you right here, as well as two of my All-American videos that you need to watch before the finale. So watch these other videos. Watch nothing else, watch these other videos. And I'm gonna see you in my next one. Bye.